The fast forward effect will make your video and audio flow together seamlessly, just like you've probably seen in Peter McKinnon or Sam Coulter's video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create the fast forward effect in DaVinci Resolve, but then take it one step further and teach you how to create the fast forward transition, all of that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about effects, transitions, and other workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's just get into this. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna show you how to make this fast forward effect, but also how to use it as a transition into another clip. So there's a few things that we're gonna need before we start this effect. One of them being good music, because this effect is so heavily reliant on good music because we're gonna be editing to the beat. And then you're gonna need some footage. Now, ideally this footage should be shot in 120 frames per second, but if you can't shoot in 120 frames a second, shoot in 60. And if you can't shoot in 60, shoot in 30. I have a whole video about how to make good looking slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. It's super simple. Check that video out if you need some help with it, but remember to come back to this video. All right, so that should be it. So let's start with this effect. All right, so to actually create this effect, we have to find the place where we want it to take place. So if we listen to the audio right here, I can tell you I want this effect to happen somewhere right in this area right here because it's that high pitched vocals and after that is like the piano and the piano sounds like it should be slow motion. So to make this effect, we're gonna have to add some speed points. Put your playhead on the place where you want this effect to happen and then go to this drop down arrow hit add speed point, and it's gonna create a speed point right where your playhead is. Then from here, just move forward a little. It can be a few footsteps in the footage and create another speed point. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this speed point and we're gonna drag it closer. And you can see that it speeds up right here. So that's a good start. Now we can listen to it again and see where we wanna add more points. So I wanna add a quick one right here. So like I had mentioned, put your playhead where you wanna see this effect happen. Go to this drop down area, hit add speed point. So I want this to be a pretty quick one. So I'm not gonna go a few footsteps. I'm gonna go like one, one footstep, maybe two, and then add another speed point and then drag it in again. Now the amount that I'm speeding each section up is totally based on personal preference. So I wanted this fast forward effect to be a little slower than I wanted this second one to be. So this first one right here, if you listen, is drawn out vocals. The second one's just a quick noise. So now moving on to the next section, I actually want to transition out of this clip into my next clip. So to do that, I need to find a place in the music where it makes sense. So let's just quick listen. All right, so you see right here in this section, if you just even zoom in, there's one vocal right here and then another one. I want this middle section right here to be where the transition happens. So put your playhead where you want the beginning of this transition to start at a speed point and then move forward and make sure there's like enough movement. So I'm gonna have this girl go a few footsteps and then make another speed point. Then you're gonna grab the speed point and drag it closer and create this really hard speed ramp with a lot of movement. And this little extra section right here, you can cut it and delete it like that. And then grab your next clip and bring it in. So to finish the fast forward transition, we have to right click on our new clip and go to retime controls again and move forward enough, like we want some movement in there. So I think this should be good right about here. Add a speed point and then go to the beginning of the clip and drag it down like this. So we want it to be about 600, 700%, something like that. And now after you've done that, you can see that there's actually a transition here. So the last step in this whole process is to actually smooth your keyframes because right now, they're pretty abrupt. They go from zero to 100 really fast, like instantaneous. So we're just gonna first close our retime controls, then we're gonna open up our retime curve. So it defaults to retime frame, but we really don't want that. So hit this drop down arrow right here, uncheck retime frame and check retime speed. And now you can see that, like I said, it goes from zero to 100 super fast. So all you have to do is click on these points individually 
and hit this smooth button and it's going to add some handles right here. These handles will allow you to smooth things out as much or as little as you want to. And if you like how the raw drop off looks right here, keep it. But if not, you can add these curves super easy. There is no way to highlight all of them, which is a little annoying. So you can just add this curve to every single point you want and it'll allow everything to be smoother. All right, so let's look at our final results. So there you have it, the fast forward effect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and actually share it with a friend so that they can put this awesome effect into their videos. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me, hit that bell notification. You guys have no idea how much that actually helps out the channel. So I'm actually in the end stage process of creating a social media lower thirds pack for DaVinci Resolve. I know I had mentioned this to you guys like I don't know, like a month and a half ago, it should have been out, but actually my hard drive corrupt and I lost like, I don't know, thousands of gigabytes of data. So I've actually been remaking these social media lower thirds. So I wanna ask you guys, are there certain parameters or features that you wanna see in the social media lower thirds? Because I wanna make a product that actually helps you edit faster and makes your life easier. So let me know in the comments below, your feedback is so important to me. Anyway, the video on the top is a video all about the tilt shift effect in DaVinci Resolve and the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.